From a mercenary, Robert Mueller indicts 13 meddling Russians. Trump has brutal surprise. By Dan Lindsay, Politics U.S. News for MadWorldNews.com. Just a week after Barack Obama's political mercenary, Robert Mueller, reeled in 13 Russians for election meddling and calling Hillary Clinton bad names, President Donald Trump has a brutal surprise for the former president. You don't want to miss this. After being the target of nearly a year-long witch hunt, President Donald Trump continues to humiliate former President Barack Obama and his expensive political mercenary, Special Counsel Robert Mueller, in an effort to justify the obscene salary of his Trump-hating team of liberal attorneys. Mueller indicted 13 Russian nationals on Friday, February 16, 2018. In a furious response to Mueller's witch hunt indictments, President Trump fired off a couple truth bombs on Twitter directed at Barack Obama, who sta started uh, the Russian collusion hoax after he realized Hillary Clinton wasn't going to become the next president, so she wasn't going to be able to cover his butt. According to the Daily Caller, Trump uh, burned Obama hit with his own words about election meddling, which the former president used in an effort to shut down accusations of a fixed election in 2016. Quoting Obama, Trump wrote on Twitter, there is no serious person out there who would suggest somehow that you could even rig America's election. There is no evidence that that has happened in the past or that it will happen this time. And so I'd invite Mr. Trump to stop whining and make his case to get votes. Beautiful. Love it. Absolutely priceless. Yes, priceless. In a continuation of his tweet, Trump added the pres that President the President Obama quote just before the election. That's because he thought crooked Hillary was going to win, and he didn't want to rock the boat. When I easily won the electoral college, the whole game changed, and the Russian excuse became the narrative of the Dems. Trump's comments came on the heels of Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein's announcement that Mueller's indictments did not in any way indicate wrongdoing or on the part of the Trump or Trump campaign staff. The defendants allegedly conducted what they called information warfare against the United States. Give me a, give it a rest, right? and with the stated goal of spreading distrust towards the candidates and political system in general. Aren't they embarrassed to even talk like that? Oh, it's too long. Good afternoon. A grand jury in the District of Columbia today returned an indictment presented by the Special Counsel's Office. Which is a joke. The indictment charges 13 Russian nationals yeah, trolls. and three Russian companies wow. for committing federal crimes while seeking to interfere in the United States political system. Really? Including the 2016 presidential election. The defendants allegedly conducted what they called information warfare against the United States. And they're proud to speak. The goal of spreading distrust towards the candidates. Really? And the political system wow. in general. Wow. According to the allegations in the indictment, 12 of the individual defendants worked at various times for a company called Internet Research Agency, LLC. We don't care. We don't care. Isn't he embarrassed? Isn't he embarrassed? You know, like, really? Aren't you just embarrassed? And Mueller should be embarrassed as well. In reality, Mueller is looking for a way to keep his crew at work. Exactly. Trying to intimidate the Trump administration. The longer he can draw this witch hunt out, the more it will look like there's a reason to investigate. In my opinion, Mueller is also setting up a scare campaign for the 2018 midterm elections. He wants as many negative headlines as possible about Trump and Russians even though they have absolutely nothing to do with each other. Mueller knows that if he makes enough noise, he can help turn some voters off to the idea of voting for Republican candidates. 
Usually that kind of thing is illegal, but Mueller is getting away with it in, in the uh, name of justice. Yeah. How is it that Barack Obama and the deep state have been allowed to turn our government into the political freak show? <laughs> that's, the, that's the key word there, freak show. That's what it's become, a freak show. When in our history uh, have our intelligence community and federal law enforcement agencies been turned into politicized weapons to wage war on an opposing party, I think that most Americans are sick of this colossal debauchery being perpetrated by the left and their deep state operatives. This has been going on for decades, but the difference is nobody was as uh, strong a candidate as Trump. Trump shakes everything up. He walks in and shakes shakes the ground that he walks on. That's right. Thank God, right there. Thank God President Donald Trump has the stomach, yeah, I, I've said it before, and fortitude to this uh, for this fight. God bless him is right. There aren't many people who could do his job given the day-to-day -day attacks from the left. The sooner Robert Mueller and Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein are fired, the better. Our do-nothing Attorney General Jeff Sessions should be sent packing as well and put the cuffs on Hillary and Barack Obama and also James Clapper and uh, John Brennan and, and, and Jim's, uh, Jim Comey. Huh? That, that's who needs to be arrested and, and pronto. They, they try to sow discord, that's what they're saying, that the 13 tr Russian trolls tried to sow discord to, first of all, they, were, they had pro-Hillary and pro-Trump and against anti-Hillary and anti-Trump, both at the same time to sow discord. And the morons, the morons, I should say, on the left, fell for it, hook, line, and sinker, because the conservative people, they have jobs. They don't have time for this. That's why the conservatives didn't fall for all of this mumbo-jumbo there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.